Okay, gone again. Well, I think my video might have stopped. I might have touched something, or I hope the uh, app, app's not acting up again. Sometimes I have to reset it. But uh, I put some a bowl of water in there. Hasn't cool, you know, it's cool water. Hasn't been run yet. And I'll run. It's actually not hard to set the time. It's a minute thing, two minutes there. Power levels start already on 100, so hit start. At first it's quiet. Then you start here. So, I didn't realize that the light runs, well I should have realized that I was looking through that vent in the back where you can see, you can actually see the transformers and, well I didn't actually see a fan spinning in there, it sounded like the fan was hitting something, Let me turn it off now, it sounded like the fan was hitting something, that's what we were concerned about, and, uh, but now it doesn't, it's kind of hard to tell. And I can see in that one side, I can't see in the other vents, but I can see in that back, uh, back right one where the, the actual light is shining through from back there. I didn't, and I realized, well, the light's on the whole time it's cooking, which I don't think the, our other ones ever did that. It's kind of cool because you can see, you know, what your food looks, what's going on with it, see if it's running over or anything. But, and it is working fine. I've already warmed up one bowl of water and got it too hot to I find it. Decided I better take it out and let it cool off. So it's working. But uh, I definitely don't like that spot that, that it got. It's some kind of plastic film that was over it. And it's not. For a minute I thought it was stuff you're supposed to peel off. But you're not supposed to peel that off because I looked at it with a magnifying glass. And if you peel that, I think it would peel the numbers off of it. I think that's what that is, is what has the numbers on it. I think that just a black background with, uh, I don't know if you can really see them. But, uh, yeah, there we go. The numbers. I believe the only thing making numbers is this film. It's probably got something printed on it. It's got the, if you can see that there. It's kind of hard with the lights on and everything, but. That looks like crap. Brand new. Supposedly brand new. So. Thing is, I ordered it at Amazon, uh, but it didn't come through Amazon. It came through RCA, the maker of this thing. So I'm imagining they will not pay for return shipping. I don't know. I haven't looked yet. But, uh. If it's Amazon and it was damaged, then you, they, they'll pay for return shipping. And I said before, when I was talking about the other one that went bad on us, the uh, Kenmore, I said uh, I started to order, I found this one at Walmart and at Amazon. I started to order it at Walmart, but then it was going to take till December 9th. And this one would come in two days, I think it came in, well, two days, I think. I can't remember, day and a half, two days. It was pretty quick. Thought wasn't going to come according to what it said online till tomorrow, and uh, so it came today. Surprised me, which was good. But then when we saw it, first thing it was it had a blemish on it, and then the next thing it sounds like there's something wrong with it. And that's the be one of the ones with the best reviews that I found. Some of them are pictures of them catching on fire and stuff and burning things up. So, is there anything made worth a crap anymore? If you find something, let me know.